Um, the sex series last year was, um, well, complicated to say the least. Um, the first two rounds didn't really go to plan. I was sitting sitting on 15 points after the first two rounds, um, feeling very disappointed. Um, didn't really know what was going on. The day before Voyance, um, the third round of the sex series, you know, I was even. I was like, I, I'm, I don't really care what's going to happen tomorrow. I was even thinking about, um, you know, going out and have some fun with my friends. But, um, you know, I went into Voyance, no pressure, nothing to lose kind of mentality. And um, of course, you know, when, when you're in front of the Danish Speedway fans in probably the biggest Speedway venue we have in Denmark, um, it's you, you want to do good. And, um, you know, luckily for me, I had a very good night, I was racing good all night, um, then made a fantastic start in the final as well to, to ride it out um, in front um, all four laps to, to win the, the third final in front of the Danish crowd in Voyens and um, that was an unbelievable feeling. Um, it sort of kick-started my entire sex series which ended up leading to, to a European title in the end. Um, and I went into Horseshoe to the last round with the sort of same mentality, nothing to lose, everything to win. I was happy with whatever happened because it hadn't really been my series at all apart from Voyance. Um, again, and Horseshoe had an unbelievable good round, um, which uh, resulted in me getting a runoff with Grisha Laguta for, for the gold medal. and. Um, Made a good start, Grisha made a little bit better start. He made one mistake in that race and that was enough for me to, to capitalize on that and uh, in the end could call myself European champion. Um, I started cycling end of last year. Um, cycling is something that's always been in my, my family um, for as long as I remember my my dad has always been cycling and um, it's never really been that interesting for me but um, since last year sort of a new world for me and I found it very interesting and I started to, to cycling a little bit more and I have incorporated this one into my practice this winter and been cycling a lot. Um, I'm trying to do anywhere from 100 to 150 kilometers outside during the week or if the weather is is bad then um, I have a home train as well where um, I can cycling inside um, but obviously it's it's more fun to go outside but I really really enjoy cycling um, it's a it's a new world for me as I said I've always been been a big fan of running um, been running a lot with my dad uh, through the years as well but uh, since this new cycling thing has come into my life, um, I hope I can be doing a lot of cycling with, with my dad as well. So um, like between the, all the meetings and, and in the off season, you know, go on some trips together, cycling and I don't know, it could be France, Italy, Spain, go to the mountains, have a good time, um, father and son. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Well, the corona pandemic has uh, definitely taken us by surprise. Um, it was something we sort of joked a little bit about beginning of the year. Um, our coronavirus is that uh, it's, it's just a joke, but uh, now we see the, the full effect of the coronavirus. It's really affected everyone, um, especially the speedway racing, which is my main, uh, main thing to do. So um, it's, it's, it's difficult to talk about because it's, it's such a delicate topic. Um, obviously, we're not racing in, in other leagues like we used to, we're not racing in Sweden, not racing in Denmark. Um, we got our, now we can finally go back home and stuff like that. But if you leave Poland and come back, you need a new Corona test, etc., etc. Um, but it's, it's been tough um, for me, you know, living in Poland on a daily basis, but being used to seeing my family at least like once a week or every second week, 
um, at this point I haven't seen my family almost half a year which is a big deal for me um, that that is one side of it then there's all the other things all the the sanatorium rules regulations you need to wear masks um, you need to you know take your precautions in not affecting uh, or getting effect, um, infected by anyone else and uh, you know it's it's different for sure um, this mask thing I understand the the whole thought about it what they mean about it but you know on a on a league meeting where um you know it's 30 degrees outside and you come out from a race your your heartbeat is is going through the roof and uh you need you need fresh air and you've got to put on a mask it's, it's not ideal but uh i have accepted um accepted this uh this situation a long time ago um corona coronavirus is here and it's here for good it's not going to go away it's something we will have to to live with from now on but you know i believe that the sooner people start accept accepting this one and respect that coronavirus is here for good you know the faster we can move forward um everyone is like ah coronavirus is destroying my life stuff like this but you know if you wake up and you just accept this one and say okay this is coronavirus you know you can move on and you can live your life it's it's not like it's not possible to keep living uh your life um it's just with a little bit more rules than what it used to be in the past but um corona pandemic is is not fun for anyone but like i said it is what it is and we need to live with it